As a kid growing up in Santa Barbara, California, Floyd Norman saw any empty surface as a blank canvas for art. In his years of growing up, Floyd was mostly sheltered from the racial tension outside of where he lived. He also worked on a few Katie Keene comic books and never saw any reason why he couldn't apply to Disney. In the mid-50s, Floyd applied to Disney and became their first black animator. This was a big deal to many people, but not to Floyd. He worked on beloved Disney classics such as Sleeping Beauty, 101 Dalmatians, Jungle Book, and many more. Floyd also mentioned that the most difficult film to do was Sleeping Beauty because of how much time it took. After spending some time working at Disney, Floyd eventually went to fight in the Korean War. Even during wartime, he would draw. After the unfortunate passing of Walt Disney, Floyd left the company for a little bit and worked on cartoons like Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids. In the 70s, Floyd went back to the Disney studio and worked on more movies and later worked with Hanna-Barbera. While at Hanna-Barbera, Floyd worked on characters such as Scooby-Doo, Captain Caveman, The Super Friends, The Smurfs, Johnny Quest, Josie and the Pussycats, and dozens of other shows. Eventually, a few years later, Floyd worked with Pixar, but this was all short-lived once Floyd was forced to retire from Disney. This was a heavy burden on him. Floyd never wanted to retire. While he was retired, Floyd spent most of his time at the Disney studio anyway, helping out other artists. Floyd was still a good asset to Disney, even in retirement. This made the company of Disney realize how great Floyd was and rehired him. Floyd is now 81 years old and still working at Disney. He has also continued to work with Pixar as well. Floyd is a legend in the world of animation and will always be celebrated for all the amazing things he's done.